My acne has been breaking my heart for the last year and a half. So today I wanna to share with you how I got my skin from this to this. I am absolutely no stranger to acne. I have been on a journey with my skin over the past 10 years. So when I was 14 years of age was when I first got acne and I went on the pill and the pill cleared up my skin. But then when I came off the pill, my acne came back in full swing as it does for most women. I ended up going on an antibiotic for my skin for six months then, which again cleared up my skin. But as soon as I came off the antibiotic, my skin flared up again. So then I managed to to clear my skin up naturally which you may remember four years ago I shared my journey on YouTube of how I cleared up my skin so I managed to clear up my skin naturally and it stayed clear for a couple of years but at the ripe old age of 24 last year in February when I also lost my little dog who I had had for 14 years adult acne hit me with a slap on the goddamn face the hardest slap i have ever had and my goodness i did not know acne until i got adult acne so my skin started breaking out like crazy in the past year and a half but this was acne like i had never experienced like cystic acne big deep lumps under my skin one spot which would morph into like four or five spots on my chin just covered i was covered and nothing i did was helping. In fact, anything I did seemed to be making my skin a whole lot worse. So I have been on this journey again for the last year and a half, but I have finally found a concoction of things that have seriously changed my skin game for the better. And I am so confident in this. So this is where my skin has been at for the last three months. And I wanted to make sure that my skin was staying clear before I shared my secrets with you guys, because over the last year and a half, there have been a couple of weeks where I've been like, oh, maybe Maybe she's clearing up and then the next morning I'm like never mind but the real telltale sign to me is when I'm on my period normally my skin goes crazy but for the last like three months I've been getting one or two individual pimples I'm on my period right now I have one on my forehead like one that's unheard of for get me get your pen and paper out girlies because I am not messing about here, okay? <laughs> this is serious business we're talking. So within 30 days of doing everything I'm about to share, I had no new active pimples, the inflammation and redness on my face had gone down and my skin had like a glow to it. My skin was healing. Within just 30 days, my skin had done a 180 transformation. So the first thing that I swear by, and I'm gonna bring this product to my grave, is sea moss gel. Now sea moss gel went crazy viral on TikTok last year, and my goodness, I am so angry that I didn't get on the hype when it was hyping. So sea moss gel contains 92 of the 102 minerals our body needs. All of the good stuff our body needs. It is literally a miracle product. So what I started doing, and I'm still doing, is taking one spoon of sea moss gel every single day and also using it as a face mask one to two times a week so we're working and getting them in minerals in our body from the inside out and also the outside in. over the years of watching how I cleared up my acne they'd be coming at me with 27 vitamins I need to be taking and about 36 products I need to buy for my skin one it's just extremely overwhelming and two it's just not doable from a cost point of view for most people like you're literally leaving there like I have no choice <laughs> I am helpless whereas sea moss gel literally contains all the minerals and vitamins that your body and your skin needs but it's in one place and it's affordable a jar of this is only like 13 euro and it'll last you the month like insane and it's completely natural so there is literally nothing better you could be using for your skin and you can probably tell how passionate I am about this product like this was a lifesaver for me like an absolute lifesaver so on top of the sea moss gel what I had to do was completely strip back my skincare routine so over the past year and a half your girl spent a small fortune a small fortune a mini mortgage may I add on skincare products because I was so desperate and I was buying you know this acne skincare routine and this acne product and this will banish your blemishes but they did nothing but make my skin worse every time I invested <laughs> in a new acne product I would be left with six more painful friends on my face so I got rid of all my acne products because I realized for me personally now I know everyone's different but 
all they were doing were drying up my skin and aggravating the spots that were on my face, you know? You'd rather have a nice hydrated spot than a dry, flaky, crusty, sore spot. You know, you get where I'm going with this. Like salicylic acid, benzyl peroxide, like the ingredients that people always swear by clearing up their skin, never did anything for me but do the opposite. And I was also just using way too many products on my face. You know the saying, less is more? Well, that really stands when it comes to your skincare routine, especially if you're suffering with acne. And I have very acne prone, sensitive skin. So I literally stripped my skincare routine down to three products when I was using probably like seven products a night on my skin which is just insanity so first things first is I'd say a gentle cleanser like you want a gentle hydrating cleanser so I use the yogurt of Bulgaria sensitive probiotic ultra delicate cleansing milk so just a super hydrating gentle cleanser this has got yogurt proteins with natural rose oil so you want to kind of keep it as natural as possible is what i have found has helped me the best like this is the only way i've cleared up my skin naturally so for my toner i use the inner essentials organic lavender water so this is natural organic lavender water and this is absolutely incredible it's only like 13 euro i think but it has antibacterial properties. Lavender has antibacterial properties. Lavender is an incredible flower. Like lavender is, it helps me sleep it helps burns if I burn my hand I pop some lavender on and now it's been helping clear up my goddamn acne. Now for moisturizer I use the Vichy Mineral 89 72 hour moisture boosting cream and this is the best most hydrating moisturizer I've ever used it only came out a couple of months ago but it is absolutely insane it is the only moisturizer I've ever used that actually feels like it's hydrating my skin like my skin feels incredible when I put this product on like I cannot rate about this enough like as I was saying you want to be putting as much hydration and moisture back into your skin as you possibly can to give your skin a chance to heal you know while also obviously working from the inside out and then you know applying all our good minerals on our skin you really want to keep the hydration in there like I saw such a difference once I got rid of all my drying acne out products and just kept it simple and basic back to the goddamn basics we overcomplicate it way too much. And then of course, you don't wanna be forgetting your SPF. So this was the only SPF that has never broken me out. I didn't use SPF for years, which I know is terrible, but it was solely because every SPF I used broke me out, so it wasn't worth it for me. But this is the La Roche-Posay 50 plus invisible fluid i'm sure you're familiar with it this is a very popular spf but it is so so good now we're going to move into some secret skin tips that i feel really helped the process along with my skincare routine and taking my CMOS gel. So first things first is get yourself a goddamn silk pillowcase. I don't want to hear about it girlies. So my uh, silk pillowcase is from Lily Silk and I absolutely love her. So silk pillowcases are hypoallergenic and also have antibacterial and antiviral properties. So they absorb less moisture than other fabrics, which if you think about it, you're spending eight hours a night lying on your pillow you know it's very important that what you're sleeping on is what's best for your skin and silk is the best thing for us to sleep on there have been so many studies to prove that but I noticed a big difference in my skin when I swapped to a silk pillowcase our second tip is to brush your teeth before doing your skincare so when you think about it when you're brushing your teeth a lot of bacteria from your mouth is going to be splashing out around your mouth um so if you're doing your skincare before brushing your teeth you're leaving all that bacteria around your mouth overnight so always make sure you're brushing your teeth first and then doing your skincare and it's absolutely insane but these little things that we don't often think about make a difference you know so all these little things kind of just become habits like once you start doing it you're not even gonna think about it you know and it's not something that you have to go out of your way to do it's just like switching around when you do something you know so our third tip is going to be always wash your hands before applying anything on your skin now I know this is pretty self-explanatory but you would be so surprised at the amount of people I have seen doing their skincare and they're just like touching their phone they're touching the light switch the door the handle they're touching everything and then they're like putting their moisturizer on and I'm like what are you doing like your phone alone has more germs than the goddamn toilet 
like stop it so i will always wash my hands and i will touch nothing else other than putting the cream on my skin. It is such an important step. Our fourth tip is don't introduce too many products at once. I made this mistake more than once. Sometimes the universe got a, has to send us the lesson again when we don't learn the first time, you know? I'm guilty of that, really guilty of that. I remember last year, and don't do what I did, I went out and I bought a whole La Roche posay like acne, fighting against acne range. <laughs> it was like four or five products. And I woke up the next day and my skin was in bits. But you know what I did? I kept using the products because people kept saying, your skin will purge before it gets better. Your skin will purge. My skin was purging for about three weeks and it was just getting worse. And I couldn't even tell which product it was or was it all of them or which ingredient it was or what was happening. And I obviously just stopped using all of the products because it was an absolute shit show I'd gotten myself into. But yeah, like if you introduce too many products at once, you cannot pinpoint what products not agreeing with your skin. And you're also not giving your skin any chance. Like your skin is just gonna freak out and be like, what are you doing? You're way better off slowly introducing things. Even if you're so impatient like me, being impatient is not gonna get you anywhere, but with worse, worse off skin. Our next tip is to let each step of your skincare routine absorb until you go in with the next step. Now, obviously my skincare routine is really simple now, but you you want to be letting each one soak in for at least 60 seconds until your face is dry is normally when I'll go in with my next product because otherwise you're just like mushing them all around together and none of them are getting to absorb and none of them are getting to actually do their job and work their magic. Our next tip now is something that I struggled with a lot because the advice you were always given is don't pick your spots and I was never somebody who picked my spots. Now very rarely sometimes I was guilty of it if I had like a white head and I just couldn't stand to look at it anymore and it was really painful and I just needed to release it but my experience is that even when I never picked my spots I would still be left with scarring like as I said I have got some scarring at the minute that is left over from my acne but what I did notice is that when I would pick it would leave deeper scarring okay so that is going to be your incentive because I got very frustrated at a point last year where I was like even when I don't pick it scares but then I picked a spot and that scar was a whole lot worse so just avoid picking your spots like it's not gonna help the problem like we need to help the problem in other ways by you know tackling it inside out and outside in. our next tip is to reduce dairy caffeine and alcohol as best you can i actually haven't drank caffeine in about two months i haven't drank alcohol all year and i try and avoid dairy as best i can anytime i have any of the three actually i'll always wake up with spots you know they inflame our inside so just cutting back as best you can our next tip is to manage stress as best you can and i know this is such a hard thing like i totally get it like my skin started breaking out really bad last february when my little dog passed away it actually started breaking out when she got sick in the january but it got went mental once she passed away and that was clearly my body dealing with so much stress like i was just obviously grieving but you know stress really does affect our skin and as the months went on and i was looking at my skin and getting upset about my skin and i'd stress about my skin it would make my skin worse you know so it really is a vicious cycle and it is really hard to manage on but i've started taking ashwagandha um it's a supplement you just take one a day and it basically lowers your cortisol levels now you're meant to take it in breaks so take it for two months take a two to four week break and then take it again take a break because you don't want to permanently mess with your cortisol levels um but i have been really enjoying ashwagandha so if you're somebody and you feel like you can struggle with your stress levels maybe look into ashwagandha um because i know it can be really difficult to like oh manage your stress yeah that's so easy. and our last little skin tip of course is make sure you're on your water game girl like do not be slacking with your water it is so important now water is not something that i have personally ever struggled with i am a goddamn fountain hello i love water but make sure you're getting your two liters of water in a day it's so important so they are all my skin secrets and how i cleared up the worst acne that i have personally ever had but i just want to say that if you're currently in it and you're struggling with acne 
that I understand how heartbreaking it can be, how consuming it can be, how much it affects your self-esteem, your self-confidence. And unless you've suffered with acne, you cannot understand what it does to you inside. I cannot tell you how many days there were over the last year and a half where I was in floods of tears over my skin. I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't even want to put makeup on because makeup was nearly making it look worse and it was so painful. Um, I didn't want to look in the mirror. You know, I was speaking so horribly to myself, but you are not your skin. Like, your acne does not define you. You still have all your beautiful features with or without acne, and it doesn't define you, and it's not something you're going to have for your lifetime. It is part of growing up and getting older and becoming a woman and our hormones and life is stressful and everything that it entails, but you can get a hold of it. You can get to a place where you are happy, more content, more at peace with your skin. Like I promise you that as somebody who has been here more than once (laughs) and there were times over the last year where I honestly didn't think where I would get to a place where I would be at peace with my skin and you know now I am so just try and be patient with yourself and focus on what you can do so like the things I'm sharing with you you know be get positive like when I first got the CMOS gel I I just I told myself this is gonna work and I made all the other changes with my skincare routine etc be positive you know and don't be beating yourself up like you don't need to be your own worst enemy you know you need to show yourself love and kindness because beating yourself up and speaking so badly to yourself is just going to stress you out and make you break out even more so try and show yourself some love and kindness and be gentle with yourself and remind yourself that you are not your skin you know it's just something that you're struggling with at the minute and you're absolutely bloody fucking beautiful just the way you are and yeah i really hope some of these tips helped you i'm wishing you all the best on your skin journey and now of course my skin isn't perfect i'm still working on trying to get rid of the scarring i have but my goodness it is worlds away from what it was like just this time last year like it's like a different person's face you know so you can get there and you will get there and yeah I'm sending you so much love thank you so much for watching I really hope there was something in this that was helpful for you and I cannot wait to see you all in my next video